asked Demesa if she waits to play a top five opponent before she dominates a game because uh, her game against Notre Dame and her game tonight, um, they're incredible. I mean, incredible. And uh, she knows when it's a big moment. Um, I think she's got the highest IQ of any post player in the country, and I will. And anyone can challenge me on that one. Her defensive IQ, it gets so. I mean, we talk about her points and everything else, but her, her defense. Um, she did some stunts and some schemes um, in that third quarter on a lot of layups, and uh, Louisville had gotten a you know, a dump off early in the game and may shut it down. And um, that's stuff that's just, you have to be a quick mental thinker. And uh, she is. And so I'm telling you, her IQ, I mean, I ask her for advice in huddles. You know, she really gets the game. And um, that helped her a lot in terms of being patient. As she said her first half wasn't her best. Um, I agree with her. Uh, but that third quarter where she just, she just is just a grown woman on the basketball court, just taking care of business and her team really rallied behind her. So that was amazing. Um, Louisville is a incredible basketball team. You know, it's the only school since I've been at Miami that Miami hasn't beaten if in, in the ACC. So this was kind of one of those bucket list games. Um, went in at this wonderful arena with the great crowd. Um, an awesome crowd, a very smart basketball crowd. They're not just screaming. I mean, they're screaming like pretty high level stuff. They know the game. Uh, they understand what a bad call is, what a good call is. You know, they're great. And um, also just that it was a pink game. And I think it was a great basketball game. And, uh, you know, I'm on the board of the KO Cancer Fund and have been for a while. And it means a lot. And uh, I think the crowd, um, ball in pink, it was really emotional. You know, I, I, I played for K Coach Al in the Jones Cup in Taiwan, and I played against her when I played at Duke, and then I coached against her at Miami. So, you know, it was a trifecta of experience, one of the classiest ladies in the world, and uh, I miss her dearly. And um, I was, no, she, she really appreciated that basketball game today. So that was a long opening statement, but there you go. <laughs> Coach, um, you know, Louisville gets out to the big lead early like they normally do, playing tough defense. What adjustment did you look to make or did you look for your players to make in order to uh, get back into the game? Yeah, you know, in my past losses against Louisville, I've always felt, oh, well, we got layups, you know. But they challenge. You know, they really challenge you at the rim harder than any team in the league. They don't give up layups. So you feel like you called a good game, but guess what? The ball didn't go in, so you called a bad game. You know, so we had to stop in what we call the drag zone in the second half and not try to go all the way to the rim. Um, you know, the only person who did that in the first half was the smart one over here. So we had a 6-4 that dribbled into the drag zone, stopped and found wide, and our guards weren't doing it. You know, it's a big game. They're excited. So you had to sort of just widen their vision a little bit and let them know that that's not going to be there. You know, they blocked us, they stuffed us, and then we shared the ball a little bit. I think it's six games against ranked opponents, five wins now against is that ranked true? opponent. I, I think that's what it is. Um, wow. What what is it um, that that enables your team to do that, especially you know on the road here against the number two team in the country? Yeah, you know the Marquette game was a long time ago, um, but it was a game plan game, and they were dialed in. You know, and then we kind of lost our way a little bit. I think we got a little bit offense happy and kind of lost our way. But when we went to Syracuse. Um, I said to myself, in the middle of that game, win, lose, or draw, this is a very special team. We were so, so special, so smart, so uh, stubborn. You know, um, this is going to work. We're going to make it work. You know, we didn't quit on plays. Um, and so since that game, I've really felt very good about my team. At least you and Laura seem to work so well together on the court as the duo. Just talk about what you all did today to kind of pull away in that fourth quarter. Um, I think we were um – yeah, just playing well together. Like, we've been playing together for a while now. <laughs> and um, I'm just very happy. Like, she's been struggling a little bit, but she's been putting in all the work. So I'm just happy that she got it going. She always gets us going, but I'm happy that she could uh, contribute yeah. points today, too. Two for too. two from the three, too. Yeah. There were some really, I thought Laura had a great assist to Mace. I thought Mikea Gray had an unbelievable pocket pass to Mace on a play that... Uh, you know, I didn't call. They called it on their own. And uh, it was one of the best little squeaky pocket passes that we've had all year. And uh, just, just the team was smart. We were smart. And Louisville's not going to shoot 30% in the third quarter like they did. And so we had we had an opportunity. You know, they, they had shots. They looked good. Uh, every, everyone that went up, I was holding my breath. And then they just kind of clanged off. They're not going to do that again. So we know that. I mean, we came in here. We played very well. But Louisville did not have a very good third quarter. And we took advantage of it. Mace, how big is this victory for uh, you and your team? Uh, it's huge. Um, after like we beating Notre Dame at home, like we were all like happy and stuff, but we wanted more. And I think we all were like still on the same page, like going here, like 
it's, it's just another game. Like, okay, it is a number two in the country, but for us, it's like it's just another game. Like, keep doing the normal stuff, and like we we can win this, and we did. So it's yeah. awesome. With Beatrice, really, I mean, they did a great job on B. They had great schemes, and so you know, we've been riding the you know twin towers and whatever. <laughs> I don't know. They're both wonderful. Um, but it wasn't like it was easy. So things were a little bit ugly, and we just kept digging. And that's that's a different way. We haven't won that way when things were, like, really bad. The both posts didn't have a great first half, and they, they reset the button at the, at the halftime and really came out and just very controlled, very, very, very poised. Coach, you got a really key contribution from Kelsey Marshall off yeah. the bench today. Just talk a little bit about what she came in and did for you. Well, she also was keeping me. I was having real trouble seeing the score. You know, it's hard because it's on a panel, and then the ads come up, and I'm like, what is it? And Kelsey was like, Coach, you get two times. I'm like, she was chirping in my ear. So even when she wasn't on the court, she had a really big game. I was like, Kelsey, how many possessions are we? It was just difficult. Um, she has been um, – she's a great player. She's won a national championship in high school at Miami Country Day and she won a national championship at AAU at the Nike Nationals. So Kelsey's a big game player, and in, the, in those games she was always huge. You give her a wide open shot in a big game, she's going to hit it. She's got that. That's just in her blood. After uh, tomorrow night, you'll be one of three teams with only two losses in the conference. Oh. Do you start entertaining the idea that this team may win a conference uh, title? You know, no, no. <laughs> I, it was, it's... um. Because uh, that would be great, and it would be, you know, if we win the rest of our games, we got a good shot at it, but that's that's the thing. Like, there's nothing to dream about. I mean, we got to win the next game, and so um, I'm really pleased where we are right now, and um, I think we've learned a lot of tough lessons that brought us to this win, but we have two losses we're still mad about, you know, and that's what I'm still mad about. We're going, I want those back. I just got to ask if uh, if you've had any bids on your shoes yet, and if so, how's that going? <laughs> you know what I forgot? I forgot to wear socks, so the bid might go down because they're going to be <laughs> a little smelly, a little smelly. And now uh, the free throw challenge, uh, Jeff asked me to make sure I said to the uh, congrats on that last year and that to get the fans to stay with it. So great job, Louisville. Yep. Anything else? Thank you.